Yesterday, the 7th of February 2023, was an important day for Juventini on and off the field. If yesterday we were able to gain respect on the field thanks to a beautiful and convincing 3-0 in the home of Salernitana, we were asking respect not only with the CFO Calvo that was asking it in front of microphones, but also us, Juventini, on social media, asking Juventus to be respected because we are seeing strange things happening around Juventus and we don't want to be fooled another time like we were fooled in 2006 with Calciopoli. It is not 2006 anymore. It's over. We are 2023 and in 2023 we have the opportunity to be vocal, to be together. We don't want to be alone anymore. This time is over. We have the opportunity to be all together. Like Fagioli yesterday, after the assist for Vlaovic, he ran towards him and he hugged him. He hugged him like I want to hug every single Juventini of the world. We have put aside our own convictions our own ideas, the Allegri in, the Allegri out, this player is good, this player is bad, because we want to be united, to care for each other, like yesterday when Di Maria, he gave the penalty to Dusan, smiling, because yes, he was smiling, because he understood the moment that uh, Dusan was having, he understood it, and he was caring for him, like we, Juventini, are caring for each other, for the love and for the good of our black and white colors. 115 days after the Serbian top transfer from 2023 January is back on the score sheet. Not once, but twice. And he's not the only Serbian that is there. Because Filippo from Serbia is the other one that uh, scored before going to the locker room for that momentarily 2-0. Before entering that changing room. Super important. Serbian connection, Juventus, all together. Guys, yesterday was not a game that we wanted to play. We wanted to win that game because at the moment we have 26 points in the ranking of Serie A waiting for the process to finish, the appeal to go, but also we have 41 points on the field. 41 points that you can call luck or whatever you want, but we deserve them on the field. Maybe even more than 41 points if you are looking at some games like Roma and Salernitana where points were deducted on the field before deducting 15 points off the field. It was a must-win game. Ciao Juventini of the world! My name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm not going with a long video, I'm not going with a lot of details. Why? Because in a few hours, I will not even hours, in a few maybe minutes, I will go to Genk for the UEFA Youth League. Genk versus Juve, one game in or out. If we win, I can promise you that we will have beautiful surprises because I will try to go and interview some players from our youth team. Huysen, that you asked me, is not there because he was suspended anyway, but we will try to have the opportunity to see Kenan Yildiz and Bangula. Uh, Nongue, we will see a lot of players there, Haza and so on and so on, so let's try to do the best. Of course, this evening, when I will be back, we'll go live and I will share all the experience and hopefully a beautiful one. What are the papers saying? Well, Tutto Sport is opening with Juve e Tornato. Juve, he is back. Who are they speaking about? Because I'm not sure if I'm able to show you the picture. They are speaking about Dusan Vlaovic. I already told you, 115 days. It was important for him, but it was also important for Juventini that he was back on the score sheet. He was our top transfer in January 2022. The player that should have changed or could have changed the destiny of Juventus last year and he was not able to do it 100% because we arrived in the four spot in the top four but we were not able to win the Scudetto this year we were expecting a Dusan Vlaovic from the start turbo charge and due to growing pain he was not able to deliver his best we were waiting for him and how important is it to have a bomber like Vlaovic that was man of the match by all the papers but also here on the channel voted as man of the match the penalty that he took taking the responsibility on a 0-0 also taking the responsibility to speaking to Angel Di Maria the one that was able to go back on the 1-1 with Atalanta at that moment scoring that penalty saying I want to take my responsibility it is important for me to unlock myself mentally but I also want to be here showing support to Juventini that were always loving me never doubting me or I speaking about the generality but I want to show them that I'm back back on the field he scored not only seventh goal in Serie this season but also is eight after that fantastic pass from Fagioli what an impact of Nicolo Fagioli did we find our starting midfield waiting for Paul Pogba to come back absolutely yes Fagioli Rabiot 
and Locatelli monster performance yesterday. You will tell me, Beppe, it was versus Salernitana. And I totally agree. A Salernitana that we should beat every single time that we are playing against them. But unfortunately, we remember not so long time ago, we were not able to beat them on the score sheet because it was 2-2, even if they canceled that 3-2. But we remember other games like Monza that we were able to have zero points on six. Totally a disaster. So the games of yesterday is the standard, is what we are expecting from Juventus. It was important for him. He said, yes, I am living for the goal and we hope that he can continue. He's still not at 100% Dusan, but he's growing towards that 100%. So hopefully we can have him and imagine with a Pogba on top of that, that can be really, really fantastic. Yesterday, I saw a beautiful Juventus that was not stopping after the 3-0. We wanted to continue. We wanted to go for another goal, another goal that was not brought to us because of the post. One time hitting the bar with Angel Di Maria, another Another top performance, only 62 minutes for him, but conserving him, preserving him for the game of Fiorentina on Sunday, but also with Moiskin. Thanks to the assist of Federico Chiesa that entered and as usual was showing a different energy on the field. When he's taking that ball, controlling and going with power, we are all happy. Of course, Chiesa is not at top form and this is also one of the answers why we are not starting with that three trio that we want to, Vlaovic, Di Maria and Chiesa, but we will get there eventually one day. Yesterday I also understood that um, maybe we are over-evaluating or over Thinking the numbers on the field, 3-5-2, 3-4-2-1, 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1. At the end, you know, a lot of coaches are saying numbers are numbers. And yesterday I understood for the very first time clearly what they meant with it. Yesterday we started, of course, with a three-man defense, but with an offensive Juve, without the real Regista Locatelli. He was on the field, he was playing like a Regista a lot of time, but thanks to a new way of playing, that is a Camelon way of playing, Playing, he was able to go as a box-to-box -box a lot of time because yesterday we played a kind of 3-4-2-1 in certain moments of the game that became a 3-5-2 in other moments of the game that became a 5-3-2 in other moments of the game especially after the 3-0 we started to manage the game in second half where it was clearly that Locatelli stepped back a lot fantastic yesterday I love that kind of Juventus where you are not able to really put one formation on it but you see clearly that the team is happy helping each other they are going where they need for example Locatelli that is stepping back as a center back when Kostic or De Cilio and both of them or Quadrado whatever you want are not able to come back Locatelli that is giving support to form a four-man defense with Alexandro taking his original role as a left back with Quadrado taking his or Danilo sorry Danilo taking his original role as a right back and then Locatelli next to Bremer beautiful this is the way that I love to see my team playing alert helping each other, covering some position, knowing what to do in every single moment of the game. Not only defensively, because defensively we saw it a lot of time that we were solid, except of Napoli, Atalanta and Monza. But other games we saw that we were solid there in defense, but also offensively with some patterns, with some triangles, with some assists with the exterior of the foot, like the assist of Fagioli that yesterday, again, I repeat, what an impact on the game. Yesterday, the big sad news and probably the only sad news is the injury for of Miretti. We will evaluate him probably today or tomorrow latest to understand how his ankle is doing, ankle sprain. He was crying going out of the field. We don't have a lot of midfielders anymore. With McKenny loaned out, with Paredes absolutely not in the ideas to be a starter at Juventus. With Pogba that we will have to wait, Fiorentina not to see him again on the field, but absolutely not 100%, we will have to wait. The bench on the midfield is short now, so hopefully not a long injury for our friend uh, for our friend Miretti. Going really fast to the other pages, Gazzetta dello Sport, Juve Festival Vlaovic. Festival Vlaovic, I don't need to translate. Anyway, we already spoke about it. But then for the first time, they are putting also Santoriello on their first page. Of course, don't expect to have a big Santoriello like we saw yesterday on Tutto Sport. But it's uh, Santoriello. If you didn't see the video, go back on the video of yesterday. It's the one that said, I hate Juventus. First page for him. I don't want to go too much into detail. Corriere 
dell'area dello sport rispettata rispettate la Juve respect Juventus not only us tifosi on social media were asking it but also Calvo yesterday on in front of the microphones there is a really important sentence that he said that a lot of people didn't really understood yesterday because I know that a lot of people are asking even more harsh word from the Juventus management towards everything what's happening well if you are reading between the lines you can understand it listen to the words of Calvo that yesterday said a certain phrase a certain sentences if you are taking them out of context they can have a diverse meaning why is he saying that because this is actually pointing out what has been done with the leaked phone calls of Juventus he said it is for everyone for the other clubs but also for Juventus for Juventus and also for the other clubs what we are asking is to be respected because we are respecting the other ones and we are asking equal respect equal respect was the first word that was said in a uh, press conference by Juventus to defend Juventus we are asking we are demanding equal respect so if you see the words that were used there they were really taught a lot of time the words said by Santoriello out of context they could potentially mean something totally different as it happens in a lot of situations also for Juventus with the phone leaked with the leaked phone call so pay attention because Juventus is getting ready to go into appeal to defend ourselves because we want to defend ourselves we don't want to be fooled like in 2006 we showed and we gained respect yesterday on the field and respect we will fight for it off the field Juventini on social media the management in court grazie forza Juve